I'm back in North Carolina, or pff, I'm not in North Carolina. I am back in Florida and I am so happy to be back. I've honestly never been happier. I have a story time I will share you at some point in this vlog, but I have literally never been happier to be home. I went to North Carolina for a little bit, which was really nice. I actually really enjoyed my time home. And then I went to New York City for 10 days. And this was the first New York trip I've ever been to or been on that I like could not wait to leave. Like I was so excited to leave. I was so excited to be back home and I definitely overstayed my welcome. Like I did not... <laughs> I did not want to be there anymore. So I'm just very happy to be back in Miami. I am happy. It's Monday morning. I have already done a few meetings and I have a ton of packages that I need to open. So I thought I would open them on camera with you guys and show you what I got. Let me open up my packages because I have been gone, like I said, for like weeks and my parents are actually here. So they've been taking up my packages for me. Look at all of that. All of these packages. I'm always so hesitant because like my address is on them, but let's see what I got. Let's start opening these packages. First one is from Urban Decay. Let's see it. I don't know what this like gray dust is, but that just got all over my floor. Okay, I got half baked. The chokehold that Urban Decay Naked Palettes had on us in like 2015. These are some pretty colors. I feel like I don't wear eyeshadow too much anymore, but these are very pretty. Oh, and then I got my eyeshadow primer. I actually just bought an eyeshadow primer the other day, so I wish that I would have known that this was coming. Let's see, what is this? I'm doing a video, or no, not a video. I'm doing an Instagram with Derm Store. And I'm so excited because I finally got a really good vitamin C serum. Sometimes vitamin C serums irritate my skin, so I need to like do a little patch test on this one first. But this, it's the Obagi 15% L-absorbic acid vitamin C serum. And then I also got an all-in-one lactic acid treatment from um, Sunday Riley. This one has like really good reviews. It's called Good Jeans and I'm gonna start using it like every other day. Very excited for both of these. I can text my manager that the package has arrived. Yankee Candle sent me something which I did not know I was on their list. Okay, it's not Yankee Candle. <laughs> it's a box. I was so confused. I met with the founder of this company. It's a social cooking app and it's called Pepper and it's actually so cool. So I met with the founder. He's amazing. Everyone should download the app. Pretty much it's like Instagram, but to share like recipes with your friends and also just find recipes from other people. And it's really, really cool. Like it's specifically for like cooking. So they sent me their t-shirt, um, a tote, which you know I love, some stickers, a little note. Oh, this is awesome. And then these little cute things for your phone. Rella's got to come up with some merch like this. Would you guys be interested in Rella merch? I would want it to be something that you guys would like want to wear or want to have. So like not something that says Rella on it, but something that says like maybe Rella with something else, like a quote or something. But I'm like, I feel like no one would wear like a shirt or like a, anything like that. So maybe like a hat, like a cap. I don't know. I'm trying to think of like things that are actually useful because I really want to. And like obviously for the team, I want to create like little merch things. But yeah, let me know if you guys think that would be useful. I love this tote though. I think it is so cute. Sweet. I have to text him and say I got the package. I got some stuff from Revolve that I'm so happy for. This is different. This is not what I was expecting. Revolve sent me... Oh, it's not Revolve. It's Revolution. Tell me this is not the same logo as Revolve. Is this not the same logo? And then look at the tape on the... Like, this, to me, looks like Revolve. I don't know if they did that on purpose, but... They sent me some shampoo, just a bunch of like hair treatments. Nice, a lot of hair steps. I feel like it's kind of like similar to Olaplex. And it's called Plex. I feel like it's like Olaplex. <laughs> I'm excited to try it. This is Revolve, because I know I got Revolve stuff. So I was like, I'm gonna do a haul later on, but first I'll just do an unboxing. Ooh, amazing. I got some girlfriend jeans. I love girlfriend jeans. They're so cute. I think that these are going to be my perfect, like, black go-to because I don't really have a pair of, like, boyfriend-type 
loose black jeans. I got this like really cute dainty top, little crop. I think it's really pretty. And I saw it on the model with like some trousers and then like a blazer, which is how I want to wear it. These pants are sick. They're leather and they have like this detail. I'm so excited to try these on. Not sure if I'm gonna wear them in the summer in Florida, but good to know. This is a really cute summer dress. I love how casual and cute this is. I was gonna wear this dress to a wedding, but this is not the material that I thought it was. This is like a very casual material. Um, is this the dress? No, this is not the dress. This is the dress. This is not what it looked like online. Uh, but definitely cannot wear this to a wedding. It's like very daytime like. Yeah, I'll figure out how to wear this, but okay, anyways, need to shop for another wedding dress. Oh, La Roche Posay. I do love La Roche Posay. Oh, they sent me some like acne solution, which could definitely be helpful. They sent me so much stuff. Hand cream. Oh, did someone steal? Oh no, some things fell out. This is empty. Hyalum B5 serum, gentle face wash, sunscreen, face moisturizer, another moisturizing cream. Now time for the stuff that you guys are on right now. <laughs> All right, we're changing the position. Oh, I got this for everyone at Rella because it's our one year anniversary of being an official legal company. At this point, we hadn't started developing anything, but we were an LLC. And so I sent everyone on our team a Yeti. So a Yeti with Rella's logo on it. And then on the back, it says Rella. Isn't that so cool? I can't believe I have finally merch. I had my own merch. This is definitely not something we would sell. I'm so excited. Yay, Can is this dishwasher safe? Yes amazing toast before you drink you're supposed to take these before you drink and then feel great the next morning i never believe any of these things it's just there's no cure to a hangover but it's one of those things where you feel so bad that like you're desperate to try anything so like i will try this <laughs> oh i am excited for this selena gomez did a collab with our place which they're like my favorite pots and pans. And I am a Selena stan. I love Selena stans. She has like little pasta, like her go-to like Nana's recipe here. I love this. I wonder what is this pasta? Mmm, sounds good. It's like a bunch of sausage, bell peppers, onion, broccoli. Our place's branding is everything. This little sponge even. Paper clip. So cute. Oh my goodness. I'm so so excited for this. These glasses are so pretty. Four glasses. I can't, I don't have a grip on it. I'm just gonna need to. It's just gonna need to be upside down. Oh, it's like a roasting rack for like veggies, meat. Amazing. I don't have a pot like this. I've been using like not a good one. This is perfect. And the color is so perfect. love i get so excited for like adult things like this so much more excited than like anything else i can get last box Ooh, i love this denim jacket and then look at the back i love it this is so cute thank you to all the companies that sent me stuff okay this was a very fun thing to come home to I am spending the day working out of Keon's house today and Keon bought a house actually. So I don't think I've vlogged since he's last, like since he's purchased this house, but we're here, he's setting up and it is so freaking nice. I'll do like a little house tour later, but the backyard is incredible and it's literally like a paradise in the backyard. But we're here, I'm doing some work at the table and Keon is setting up this like table, other like outdoor tables. So working together and then we're just gonna have some dinner later on. But yeah, I'm excited for him. This house is so nice. I'll do a little house tour once it's all up, but here's a little glimpse. How do you feel as a homeowner? Good. <laughs> That's all you get? That's all, all you get. <laughs> table, a mirror, hello. This is the whole house. In the backyard. 
And then the kitchen. This has been my little work setup. No, wait till it's clean. It's a glimpse. It's like the before. I wanted to quickly thank today's sponsor, which is Squarespace. If you don't know what Squarespace is, then you haven't watched my videos. It is the best way to build your website. Whether you are trying to create an online store, personal brand, whatever it is, you need Squarespace. Squarespace just makes it super easy to build a website. You don't need to know how to code. They have the most beautiful templates. Like I am not kidding. The templates are top notch. They're so pretty. And the best part is that you can customize them however you want. So if you want something that looks a little bit more modern, a bit more like, you know, new neutral and minimal you can do that if you want something with a pop of color and you know have it be very fun and vibrant you can do that because you are customizing it but you don't need like an actual developer and don't need to actually like code a website to do it if you guys have not already tried squarespace by how many times i have told you about them you guys can use my code natalie barbu at squarespace.com or go to squarespace.com slash natalie barbu for 10 percent off your first order thank you squarespace for sponsoring today's video i went to trader joe's Finally, uh, I haven't been to Trader Joe's in a very long time. I usually shop at Whole Foods now or I will do Amazon Fresh and get it delivered. I honestly haven't done Amazon Fresh in a while either, but we're gonna show you, or I'm gonna show you a little grocery haul that I did. I was convinced to buy these Scandinavian swimmers, which is pretty much Swedish fish at the aisle or at the checkout, but honestly, I didn't think they were that good. I like more like, like not Swedish fish gummy, more like a gummy bear gummy. And they're just a different consistency. These like get stuck in your teeth. Not a big fan of that. But anyways, I mean, they're, I have gummies now to satisfy my sweet tooth. Also got some cherries. These just sounded really, really good. Grape tomatoes for dinner tonight. Feta cheese for dinner tonight. Some tzatziki sauce for dinner tonight. <laughs> This garlic spread is a must-have. Like, it is the best. If you like garlic, you need this. I really wanted to try the um, dill pickle mustard because I love mustard and I love pickles, and I just feel like this is amazing. So I need to make, like, a burger sometime soon or something that requires mustard, like a sandwich, because I need to try it. Honestly, never tried this, like, chili onion crunch, which is shocking because I love everything in this. I decided to buy that. Chicken breast for dinner tonight. Chicken sausage for breakfast. This just honestly looked really good. This orzo pasta salad. So I'll have this with dinner tonight and lunch tomorrow. Dinner tonight. And then I got frozen pancakes because these mini pancakes that are frozen are so, so good. And then also cucumbers for dinner tonight. These look really good. These non-crackers. I feel like they'll be really good with the garlic dip. Two pork buns. These Chinese pork buns are so yummy. I've never gotten this before, but I feel like this is just a staple because I always complain that I don't have food here, but I always have some like carb. Like I always have like rice or pasta. I just don't really have a protein. So this kind of solves that issue. Just throwing some chicken in um, on like the stove and cooking it and adding like a sauce with it just to have some protein. So I just got these like frozen chicken strips that are already cooked. Now that I have my air fryer, I wanted to try gnocchi because it's so much better in the air fryer. I got some meatballs with it as well. When I'm cooking pasta, I do try to sometimes have protein with it. Orange chicken, chimichurri rice, another staple. This, I think when I was working and living in Charlotte, I ate this at least once a week, like a minimum once a week. This was always in my freezer. This is the best. It's the Peruvian style chimichurri rice. And then last of the frozen food, I got these pork soup dumplings. I am obsessed with soup dumplings. Obviously, the Trader Joe ones do not compete with like authentic Chinese soup dumplings, but they're actually really, really good. I'm actually obsessed with these. I just needed salt, so got some salt. And then I really wanted to try this with something, this truffle flavored barbecue sauce. Maybe when I eat my chicken, I'll do like chicken rice and like barbecue sauce, but I love truffle. I love barbecue sauce, so want to try this. I don't know how the combo is. It's a little weird of a combo. And then the nectarines looked really good. So I just got a few nectarines and regular milk. All right, so that was my Trader Joe's haul. Now time to put all of this away. back 
working and for some reason I feel very stressed. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's maybe like my time of month, if there's a lot going on, if it's the end of the month. I had a lot of goals this month and I honestly am going to be honest with you guys. I'm honestly going to be honest. I can't speak. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I did not hit those goals. And I think whenever that happens, I just get very like down on myself. So I didn't hit the goals that I wanted to hit this month. And now I'm just a little stressed out. And we are releasing beta for Rella. And I'm just trying to organize the email that I'm sending out and just some stuff that needs to be done. And I wanted to send it this morning. And I'm still sending it today, but it's just like a lot of stress on me. And this month was supposed to be, I was supposed to hit some things that I just like didn't. And I'm just feeling really stressed. And I just wanted to be honest with you that I feel like today is not going to be a good day. Not going to be a good day at all. So if anyone else is feeling that way, let me know. And I think it's normal to have those days on YouTube, social media, TikTok, everything. I feel like we're always like talking about the best days and how to turn a negative into a positive and all of that is great. But sometimes I just want to be honest and I just want to say today's not a good day. It's not. I'm stressed. I'm sad. I feel like frozen and I'm very uncertain and yeah. So anyways, that was the end of my vlog. I wanted to film a bunch of little random clips and I hope that you guys liked it. I've been trying to film as much as possible even though it's not as like cohesive of a storyline. Um, I'm trying to get back into that, but I think that was my cue to stop talking and actually get to work. Anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed this week's vlog and if you did, please let me know. What are your favorite parts of it? Do you like the chattiness? Do you want, like what do you want to see or is just like filming my day to day uh, entertaining for you. I will see you guys in my next vlog and I hope that you guys enjoyed this one. Vlogging is one of my favorite things to do. So thanks for letting me do it. Bye guys.